Hello and welcome to our special service for Ash Wednesday. It's a real joy to have you with us and I hope that you will be able to enjoy our service. Start again. Welcome to our Ash Wednesday service. A little different this year but you are very warmly welcome. Some of you will have received um, an Ash Cross um, through your door. Um, some of you won't, but I would invite you, if you want to, to make some sort of reminder of this season of Lent for yourself. So we've made these, uh, well, Bridget made them actually um, using ash um, from last year's Blessed Palm Sunday Crosses mixed with PVA glue. And the result is very effective on various stones and pebbles. Really grateful to Bishop Michael, the Bishop of Lichfield, who has sent to parishes his Ash Wednesday message. And so this service is pre-recorded and it includes his Ash Wednesday message to each of us. So we meet in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Brothers and sisters in Christ, since early days Christians have, have observed with great devotion the time of our Lord's passion and resurrection and prepared for this by a season of penitence and fasting. By carefully keeping these days Christians take to heart the call to repentance and the assurance of forgiveness proclaimed in the gospel and grow in faith and in devotion to our Lord. I invite you therefore in the name of the church to the observance of a holy Lent by self-examination and repentance, by prayer, fasting and self-denial and by reading and meditating on God's holy word. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Let us pray for the grace to keep Lent faithfully. 
Holy God, our lives are laid open before you. Rescue us from the chaos of sin and through the death of your Son, bring us healing and make us whole. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our epistle reading comes from the second letter to the Corinthians, beginning at chapter 5 and verse 20. So we are ambassadors for Christ. Since God is making his appeal through us, we entreat you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. As we work together with him, we urge you also not to accept the grace of God in vain. For he says, At an acceptable time I have listened to you, and on the day of salvation I have helped you. See, now is the acceptable time. See, now is the day of salvation. We are putting no obstacle in anyone's way, so that no fault may be found with our ministry. But as, as servants of God, we have commended ourselves in every way through great endurance, in afflictions, hardships, calamities, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labours, sleepless nights, hunger. By purity, knowledge, patience, kindness, holiness of spirit, genuine love, truthful speech and the power of God, with the weapons of righteousness for the right hand and for the left in honour and dishonour, in ill repute and good repute, we are treated as impostors and yet are true, as unknown and yet are well known, as dying and seeing, we are alive, as punished and yet not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing yet possessing everything. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus went to the Mount of Olives early in the morning, he came down again to the temple. All the people came to him, and he sat down and began to teach them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery, and making her stand before them all, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. Now in the law of Moses he commanded us to stone such women. Now what do you say? They said this to test him, so that they might have some charge to bring against Jesus. But he bent down and wrote with his finger in the ground. When they kept on questioning, he straightened up and said to them, Let any one among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. And once again he bent down and wrote on the ground. When they heard it, they went away one by one, beginning with the elders, and Jesus was left alone with the woman standing before him. Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, sir. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go your way, and from now on, do not sin again. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Ash Wednesday, the start of the great 40 days of Lent that lead up to the Feast of Easter. Lent, of course, for us is a time of going into the wilderness with Jesus, of reflecting more deeply on what the Spirit is doing in our lives of reading the scriptures more attentively, of spending more time in prayer, of disciplining ourselves, for some through prayer, through fasting, through giving, and particularly today of remembering our dependence on God um, in the sign of the ashes from which Ash Wednesday gets its name, 
the marking on our foreheads of the dust of the earth as a reminder of our physical frailty and of our dependence on God who brought us from the earth and who we hope will raise us up from the earth as he raised Jesus from the dead. This Lent we keep surrounded by reminders of mortality and limitation in a time of pandemic, death and loss all around us and with restrictions on our movements and on our meetings. And of course these things cause us great sadness and they can cause us frustration too. But they can also be an opportunity for us to turn again to God. We cannot meet physically with family and friends as we would want to, but we can meet spiritually with God in the depths of our hearts. We cannot travel physically to other places, but we can explore the unbounded breadth and depth of God's love for us. We cannot join physically in parties and sports and concerts and horse races and entertainments and whatever else we want to do that would entertain us. But that means that there is nothing to distract us from the presence of the God whose service is joy and life beyond measure. So today it may be that you are marking on your forehead the sign of the ashes or it may be that you're not but whether you do that or not remember that this Lent is a time to draw closer to God and to travel with Jesus into the wilderness so that we may share with him in the joy of his resurrection may God keep you safe and bless you in your keeping of this Lent
let us call to mind our sin and the infinite in now let us call to mind our sin and the infinite mercy of God God the Father have mercy upon us God the Son have mercy upon us God the Holy Spirit have mercy upon us holy blessed and glorious Trinity have mercy upon us from all evil and mischief from pride vanity and hypocrisy from envy hatred and malice and from all evil intent good Lord deliver us from sloth worldliness and the love of money from hardness of heart and contempt for your word and your laws good Lord deliver us from sins of body and mind from the deceits of the world the flesh and the devil good Lord deliver us in times of sorrow in times of joy in the hour of our death and at the day of judgment good Lord deliver us by the mystery of your holy incarnation by your birth childhood and obedience by your baptism fasting and temptation good Lord deliver us by your ministry in word and work by your mighty acts of power by your preaching of the kingdom good Lord deliver us by your agony and trial by your cross and passion by your precious death and burial good Lord deliver us by your mighty resurrection by your glorious ascension and by the sending of your Holy Spirit good Lord deliver us give us true repentance forgive us our sins of negligence and ignorance and our deliberate sins and grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit to amend our lives according to your word. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Make our hearts clean, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. Eternal Father, giver of light and grace, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and marred your image in us. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us out from darkness to walk as children of light. Amen. Those of you who have ashes, those of you who've got ashes on a stone, or maybe you have your own ashes with you, I invite you to receive these ashes as a sign of the spirit of penitence, with which we shall keep this season of Lent together. God our Father, you created us from the dust of the earth. Grant that these ashes may be for us a sign of our penitence and a symbol of our mortality, for it is by your grace alone that we receive eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord and Saviour. Amen. And so as you look at the ashes that you may have on your stone or if you have other ashes, I invite you as you observe them or as you maybe put the ashes on your own forehead or hands to remember that you are but dust and to dust you will return. The invitation this Ash Wednesday, as with every Ash Wednesday, is to turn away from sin and be faithful to Christ. The Lord enrich you with his grace and nourish you with his blessing. The Lord defend you in trouble and keep you from all evil. The Lord accept your prayers and absolve you from your offences for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen.
this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son. He is the sacrifice for our sins, that we might live through him. If God loves us so much, we ought to love one another. If we love one another, God lives in us. And our final prayer of blessing. May God the Father, who does not despise the broken spirit, give you a contrite heart. May Christ, who bore our sins in his body on the tree, heal you by his wounds. May the Holy Spirit, who leads us into all truth, speak to you words of pardon and peace and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you today, throughout Lent and always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. <laughs>